All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan. I just realized I might be wearing the same shirt that I did yesterday. Ah, uh, well, I'm just too lazy, so whatever. Anyway, before we start, I uh, thought I would uh, actually go over this. All right, so... Uh, oh, this is the guy, Shinji Hito. So I, I think that's the Japanese name of maybe this anime or something. He asked me about Remel, right? And basically... Oh, this is the guy that actually told me about Rebel. So, so far it's actually turned out pretty well because the market went down like a crap ton yesterday on Friday. All right. So it was, was, it was good starting out when I was making my video. And then at the end of the trading day, I had to update the description. So it said, oh, so it looks like everything went to hell. <laughs> but RF did okay, lost two cents. So... So everyone's losing their money, but RF goes down basically two sets. So, like in terms of remember what I said about comparisons, it was it was really doing really well. That's a financial bank. Um, Cephal's going up for some reason. That's but UBS is already recalled um, mandatory redemption in, and then Remel actually went up like a ton. Uh, I don't know, just went up a ton for some reason. So. Uh, so I guess it has something to do with whatever this is, but basically I'm not going to read the whole thing, but it says it's going to, uh, the, because of the way they do the pricing formula, it has a problem where it just simply has a, a inherent value of zero, which actually doesn't make sense. That's basically what they're saying here. So they said they're just removing the zero value requirement. I mean, it looks like they're not exercising their call right either because if they wanted to exercise their call right, they wouldn't give a shit in what was valid at zero. Now, well, that's not true. Maybe they still want to give the call right and give people back some money so they don't get, like, people really angry at them. But uh, you can't just do a call right and then have the thing be worth zero. So that could be the only possible risk I'm thinking of. But it says there's something about a pricing supplement. I, I just don't want I just don't want to deal with it. But in other words... This is probably a really good piece of fundamental news for Remel, and as a result, I guess that's why uh, Remel is going up. For because I was wondering why is it skyrocketing? It's like, oh, okay, well, you know, the free market probably thinks it's uh, something fundamental happened. So works for me. Uh, so um, yeah, so coronavirus might still have a problem because I've noticed on Mike Cernovich and everybody else. Uh, oh yeah, so. Uh, so we're actually fine. Like my, my portfolio is now actually going up in value, surprisingly, or at least not losing any money. Uh, however, if this keeps up, if this coronavirus and all the nationwide shutdown shit keeps happening, uh, we might not be fine for much longer. So, and that's where uh, Mike Cernovich was complaining about, uh, and the Adam Scrabble guy is also getting very angry. Like he doesn't like they said you're imposing martial law on the entire nation. It's not necessary, and it's going to kill all the businesses. And that's actually true, and everyone knows uh, the leaders know that, but they still have to shut down. So that's the thing. I I think we still have to shut it down because our in New York City alone, we're actually now considered the epicenter in America, right? Because we got like I mean this number is going like fucking crazy right now. Let's see, we have 4,300, no, this was one day ago, that's obsolete. Local buses in New York, New York, New York City local buses are free ride during coronavirus pandemic. Extend this what has the most all to, okay. Let's see, what? Why is it, why is this, uh, why is this here? Queen Deary of Flots, coronavirus, roll, loses liquor, Permit. Huh. What? Oh. Oh, it's probably because uh, they were having people eating. So I was like trying to figure out what this means. And then uh, they probably had too many gatherings or uh, they were having people eat inside and then they revoked their liquor permit as a uh, penalty. Which is fine. People shouldn't be drinking anyway. It's like, what's the point of drinking? It's actually a waste of money, especially now because no one's going to be making money. So why are you throwing your money away at frivolous things? All right. I mean, if you're going to do that, you should buy video games because at least when you put in 20 bucks or whatever, you'll get like thousands of hours of value out of it. 
The coronavirus live view from Times Square during our okay, I don't care. Um, all right, I don't know why. Okay, freeze rent payments during coronavirus, says borough president. So this is what I'm hoping for. And then they got, because they already freezed uh, mortgage payments here in New York City. I'm, I think it's definitely sound like regular residential. I don't know about commercial. Because uh, right now, commercial, I think, is being uh, left hanging to dry, which is a problem. Uh, but, uh, New York, Brooklyn distillers are now making hand sanitizer. Thank God, because, you know, cause there's, I haven't even bought checking, but I already know intuitively that there's just nothing. Like, that's why I'm waiting until next week. If I think I need to go back to Target and try to resupply. Uh, but the thing is, I'm not even sure that's going to work. And of course, I never go on weekends. Can you imagine Target right now or any grocery store today? It's Saturday morning. Can you imagine what it must be like right now? <laughs> um, and of course, Bill de Blasio, um, so far he hasn't done anything stupid. Except just complain. Uh, cases. So I don't know why, but this thing is not... Here we go. So we got 5,700 uh cases this is 25 minutes ago yeah we went from like i don't know a couple thousand and then we tr then we went up like 300 percent or something oh the whole thing is like cr crazy humor declares new york a major disaster live is update it's not that bad but on the other hand yeah people do have to shelter in place so the whole point of this is uh, i know people i you know my experience and then i still want to like open up people and then just let them walk around and go to school if they're deemed healthy that's way too risky. You can't do that here in New York City. Like we're, we're like remember I've been having a cold and technically I'm still uh, coughing out the phlegm now because my body now doesn't need it anymore. So it's trying to just get rid of the uh, excess crap, right? All I did was I had a family member visit me to to pick something up. Then a day or two later, I went to the grocery store, the small one, to get my spinach, right? And then a day after that. I went to Target to try to, and then that's when I saw the, and then that's when I told the tale of like, you know, empty shelves. I got the scraps, and the people around me, you know, the nice black lady mom with her signs, like, "Mommy, why is there no food?" I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> it's like I can't. I I, 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 I took a quick glance. Like she looked. Um, I don't want to say despair, but a couple levels before that. So, uh, people are. Concerned, they're called, but they're concerned. Probably maybe a little scared too, right? And then they're like, man, what is this crap, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. But basically, I didn't have too much contact with anything or anyone. And I still got something, right? I still, I still came down with something, right? I now have a compromised immune system, but that's how easy it was to catch something. Like, I, I spend all my time in here, right? So imagine if it, if what I caught wasn't the cold, but like fucking coronavirus. You can't have people running around. It's like, you know, I know Mike Sarich is in particular pretty angry, mostly because he's actually under martial law, right? Because Los Angeles and California, because he's in Orange County. That sh yeah, that shit's gone. <laughs> that shit's gone. Um, but I think he's starting to see that, like, yeah, we kind of need to do this. But he's trying, but it, but they do make up bring up a good point. There's a area that's not really affected by coronavirus like um like for example because i haven't heard of any lockdowns in tampa florida or really florida well let's see uh let's see okay so they're doing the same thing right bars restaurants gyms but they're not doing a shelter in place uh okay we can safe admit a coronavirus Retracts port of Pasco camera. Yeah, see, they even have to retract a death of coronavirus. It's like, oh, no, he's actually alive. Okay, you could scrub it. Uh, McDill Air Force Base announced his first positive corona case. Yeah, I mean, in Florida, you don't really have too much. Also, it tends to be a lot warmer. It's kind of like the East Coast version of California, you know, decent weather. Um, you know, actually, I want to do a weather check, but just in case it decides, say, hey, this is your address and your zip code. Would you like to, uh, you know, weather Miami, Florida now? Let's do Florida. All right. Look at that. Look at that. 79 degrees in Florida right now, Miami. Uh, weather Tampa, Florida. 
78. Everyone's out in shorts. Oh my god. I want this weather. Yeah, so no wonder they don't have to worry about uh, coronavirus. I mean, the people are still getting it, obviously, but because it's so warm, you know, it's much easier to contain. So they don't have to go as crazy as a shelter in place, but not here in New York City. It's damp, it's humid, and it's fucking cold. Yeah, that's like the ideal breeding ground for viruses and shit. That's why we have to lock down, but Florida does, does not. And that's why I'm going to move here. All right. And on top of that, I would also know that because of that, business will be slower, but it'll still work. And I can have my commercial real estate property. And then every, and everywhere else in America, will just have to deal with this dumb shit and hopefully get over it, you know? You know and they will. It's just a matter of how much damage is it going to cost us, right? Because if it gets that bad, you know, my lawyer, because Mike Bolin was also responding to my shit yesterday, too. Uh, let me see. We could take a look here. Tweets and replies. Uh, man, we got a lot of crap. Um, let's see. Bolin? Of course this thing doesn't work because, you know, fucking Twitter is shit. <sighs> all right let me see how about how about the at symbol at what's this oh my god mike bolin what's his yeah it says mike bolin right actually he doesn't really do too much uh twitter stuff so maybe it's actually i could just look at it through his thing it's funny, I have to go through the other guy to look at my own replies because the searches are so retarded on, uh, on, um, there we go. It's so retarded on, uh, fucking Twitter. So, all right, let's see. So, Mike did this thing here, right? Actually, he's actually grown his Twitter following quite, uh, quite substantially. You know, I guess, but I guess by having just to say multi-millionaire, that, like, that helps. <laughs> Um, commercial real estate is ruined. LA's because that's where I want to go. LA's extended ban opening to blah blah blah. See, this is why I'm kind of like hesitant to invest. See, that's why I need to not invest in New York or even LA. Like, it's not only more expensive, but there's also other kinds of risks that you don't anticipate. I intuitively know there's more risks. And after this stock market bullshit, right? It's like, oh, I'm paying even more money, getting less returns, but I should be quote unquote less risky. That's 100% bullshit. It's actually much more risk than cryptocurrencies. And I get less return. It's literally the worst of both worlds. Why would you invest in something where you get less percent as a, a return on investment and you have risk losing everything, right? The chances of the stock of stocks going to zero or close to that is a lot greater in stocks than it is in cryptocurrency. Because at least in crypto, the way it goes to zero is everybody abandons the project. But hey, if you're going on the top 100 or whatever on uh, Coin Market Cap or Coin Gecko or whatever you decide to use, uh, well, it's not really that big of a deal, right? And on top of that, um, well, I mean, BitConnect was an exception, but that's because that was deliberately designed to be a Ponzi scheme. So I guess there's that too, but most of these are not Ponzi schemes. You know, they're not BitConnect. You know, that's where the that's where the thing comes from. So anyway, I said I said in reply, man, I'm glad I didn't buy commercial real estate at this time. But if I did, it would have been tap before. Where I think as of time, they aren't in a shutdown, which is true. In this situation, real estate, all real estate is not local. Defaults will be widespread. System wide, we'll see large chains collapse and default. So he's basically saying, because this is also based on what Mike and Adam Scrabble were also talking about on Twitter. I don't want to go through the whole thing. Uh, he's basically saying it's going to cause a domino effect. All right. Uh, can I imagine uh, commercial? Da -da -da -da, uh, yeah. And then blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's see. Um... Because he also had another thing, too, actually. Let me see. Because he also mentioned about... Uh, sorry, I feel bad. I mean, like I said, a few fly... Uh, the real estate issue are not, reg not regulated to California. So we nationwide defaults that we never experienced. Um, did not. He'd ask about blind trust. Uh, screw CS Wall. Let though, let's use those Chick-fil-A double... Bar drive throughs that's testing would be finished. <laughs> uh, <laughs> shit is getting funky. So, right, right, okay, show you out bars, rush out schools. So, it's really dead. Uh, when people can't feed a fair, how can they eat civility breaks? 
Yeah, that's what we're all concerned with. But so far here in New York City, everyone's actually been pretty chill. Uh, also, our supply chains are actually still pretty good, right? Like the truck drivers are good. The food supply is good. The, the, warehouse, the people working at the stores reshelving everything are pretty good. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, because I'm trying to look for uh, the thing where he said... Um, Chinese virus, of course, everyone's complaining about that. Uh, all right, I guess we're just going to have to, uh, then March 18th. But he said something about, like, lo like the, the problem in 2008, 2009. Maybe it was someone else, actually. But they said that in 2008, 2009, the collapse was started from the top down. So the banks, the insurance companies, and then the uh, financial institutions. Those co exploded, and then it trickled down. Today, coronavirus, the risk is we're going to have an economic collapse that's as bad or worse because the problems are from the bottom upwards because people can't pay rent. People can't go to work. People can't go to school. People can't go out, basically, and spend money. And because of that, the velocity of money dies, and then it's going to have a domino effect upwards. So the banks and whatever are fine now, but if people are not are defaulting on rent and payments and all that shit, and people are credits are getting screwed you know that, that's basically what's happening so uh so that's why i'm hoping that this direct payments plan shit is really just give everybody free money uh but of course the democrat and republican establishments are saying no fuck you you know we're going to put as many restrictions as we can so and, and that's going to that's going to kill the economy uh but they could get away with that if they reopen new york city and california whatever but we just can't because it's going to be another like probably two to four weeks at least and by that people are going to go bankrupt so and then combine that with the fact that yeah the restriction because like i'm not going to get anything probably from this relief package right because of the stupid like oh you made too much money in 2018 i didn't make any money in 2019 i just got downgraded 53 points on my credit report can i have the fucking money now Right? I mean, I'll, financially, I'm actually going to be okay. Ish. But if this keeps up, you know, well, I don't want to say how much money I have in the bank, but uh, this is just because what if I have to actually tack off all my savings in the next two, three, four years, right? Because of, because of the, because of this coronavirus stuff. You know, I'm hoping that that's like, that's in a really extreme case. I'm pretty, I mean, by then, you know, uh, we should have like, well, I mean, let's see. I don't know. They're saying like their economic recovery is gonna like take a long time. I don't know, man. Well, let's just have to see, man. But there's a lot of crazy shit. Talk today how to provide assistance. Uh, oh yeah, because they were supposed because everybody in Congress is supposed to uh, reconvene at 10:30 a.m. Right now it's 11:09 a.m. So they've been at it for 40 minutes. Uh, let me see. Can we do a search tool of like within the past hour? Uh, Trump unleashes fury. Okay, I'm actually curious. What is this? <sighs> Excuse me. Uh, the plan will require employers to pay the hours and then get reimbursed by the guy. He said he supports direct assistance to businesses and blah. Yes, you should be giving everybody and everything just free money. Uh, just give everybody free money, even if it's a little bit. Just give everybody free f f fucking money. All right, it's it's not hard. See, this is why I need to go to, like, Florida. Because they basically are, like, New York City, but just not as, like, beta mill cringe as, um... Because, uh, I can't say the F, the, the real F word, uh, as Bill de Blasio. Because he because if you look at the difference between Cuomo and Bill de Blasio's Twitters, Cuomo is all just like, let's do this, come on, have hope, alright, this is what we need, you know, here's our phone numbers, get us the medical stuff. You know, he's being proactive. He's not complaining or bitching or even really saying anything political at all. He's like... Hey, we're in a lot of trouble. De Blasio, on the other hand, he's like a total emotional meltdown. He's acting like a woman, like a woman that's just found out that her husband cheated on her or something. And then he's constantly bitching, complaining, and he's offering zero solutions. Uh, at least he did say, hey, you know, thank you to the New York wor school workers providing free food to the kids. So that's like the one positive thing he said. Everything else is Trump bad this, that we really need shit. Where is everybody? It's like... Uh, even Michael Bloomberg wasn't that much of a beta male. It's like, like we get what we deserve, all right? We get the gutter we deserve. Yeah. 
Virgin Okay. All right. Uh, Germanic assistance profit by Pakistan today. What the hell? Uh, okay. New York City restaurants are facing massive layoffs. Yeah, because where is the fucking stimulus? Where's our direct? Where's our? Where's our Trump bucks? Where's our Trump bucks? Give us our Trump bucks, all right? Because that, because that is the domino effect right there. People getting laid off and businesses going bankrupt because we can't do economic activity. Right? In fact, the pizza place that I used to always go to, I'm pretty sure they're hurting pretty bad financially. So I'm gonna have to hope that they have, you know, lots of cash reserves to weather this storm. Congress toils on a one trillion dollar tr Trump unleashes fury. So I'm curious to know what Trump is doing. Uh, the the Congress, yeah, these vitamin C tablets worked real well. I'm not coughing up any phlegm at the moment. Um, okay, uh, it was extraordinary. I'm kind of, oh, taking the most ambitious federal year to shore up all, all, all while pandemic. One, one for guys. I say you're. Oh yeah, I saw, that was pretty funny. Okay, so this is just a hit piece on Trump. <clears throat> So I also noticed that the news articles are conveniently leaving out the requirements. So that probably tells me the globalists are working very hard to fuck you over. Uh, and it's going to like just kill everything. Now, that being said, I'm hoping it's going to be enough just to make the markets recover. And then the people will go bankrupt. Unfortunately, we can't do anything for them because, you know, the fucking GOP. Uh, and really the Democrat establishment, too. Pieces of garbage, right? But, you know, as long as we can kind of recover and then hopefully it'll... Get, it's already getting warmer-ish here in New York City. Uh, let me see. New York. I mean, today's. I mean, today and this coming week will be kind of cold. So New York City weather now, and of course, I'm gonna make sure we turn that off. So it doesn't say, "Hey, we've detected that your neighborhood is right here." Like, well, you know, and then you might have cancer. Would you? Would you like something, Johnson Jen? It's like, how did you know? I'm not even signed in anything. It's like, it's, uh, yeah, it's 44 degrees here. So, yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty cold, all right? Coronavirus is very happy with the temperatures right now. Small businesses, 500 fewer will be able to tap into 10 million forgivable loans. Okay, wow, they're forgivable loans. Wait, ten, oh, okay. From the federal guy, I continue get cutting paychecks. That's actually pretty good, actually. This is actually really good. Dear guys, we're saying money workers via the existing unemployment insurance system. She recalled unemployment insurance on steroids. I mean, this isn't good because not all of us... I mean, I'm self-employed. I mean, I get nothing. So, you know. But they come to who have benefits draw all you say because they say they probably keep workers linked to employers for easy recall once the crisis abates. During the the police are probably the ready-made distribution job. The states can also go overwhelmed by the surge of jobless claims. Yeah, everyone's, like, the amount of job, uh, unemployment claims is spiking. Meanwhile, industries are all kind of lining up for help. <coughs> oh, I guess the effects of the Vitamin C chewable as well. He's already signed an ID, boosting, testing coronavirus. So the good news is we're testing more people. So that's why we're experiencing a bigger spike in uh, cases in New York City. As Mayor Cuomo says, Mayor Cuomo, Governor Cuomo of New York says, that's a good thing because we need to find out who's sick so we can isolate them. And then we can tell them to stop spreading it. Uh, well, da, 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 da. Uh, Curry, while there, those will really take six to three to six weeks to recover. Jesus, that's a lot. All right, so we don't care about that. Uh, New York City buses are free. That's kind of nice. Uh, the FTA say it's a spending fair collection on all its local bus routes in order to keep drivers and riders a safe distance apart. So, everyone, only the back door of the local hill will be open for riders who will be directed to stay at least six feet away from bus drivers. Like, normally this would be crowded, but this works because most people are actually just staying home. Like, we're actually being pretty chill about the uh, lockdown. Yeah, so. Um, okay. Da, 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 da. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Free free bus rides. Uh, starting, let's see, Monday is March 23rd. Uh, starting Monday, March 23rd, twenty twenty. Bus rides are free, but you have to stay six feet away from everyone. Yeah, what? Oh God. All right, there we go. Pretty chill, pretty cool. Uh, is he? I don't know. Tell you, Sarah, is he actually doing a, a thingamajig? Uh, 
be please people are dying god bless everyone be uh hydro core okay whatever these things they take i have a real chance to be one of the biggest game changers in the history of medicine if you guys move mountains thank you hopefully they will both go 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 be pleased me people are dying fast me fat god bless everyone yes okay let's just do that uh, but yeah, we've actually kind of known about this for a little while. It was on Twitter, and then they finally reached uh, Trump. So yeah, so we've got definitely plenty of um, of uh, thingamajigs. And wow, Kenny Rogers has died. I know that name. Uh, I, was conf I was always confused about Kenny Loggins, the guy who made the Top Gun theme. Uh, but Kenny Rogers is still a really, uh, you know, did, did he die of coronavirus? <laughs> As a person uh oh i think he's just simply old oh no he's pretty good i think it was pretty chill but i mean i haven't i mean i don't know what, what his uh thing was oh yeah by the way if you hate trump your chances of dying from coronavirus go way up uh because I, I i can't even explain why because i don't get banned on youtube but let's just say certain types of sin and doing certain types of very bad things basically rebellion against god uh yeah coronavirus is you know killing you right off right now <laughs> so pretty pretty crazy stuff pretty crazy stuff all right so bitcoin searches uh let's see 26 minutes because we have to go through the fundamentals because it's all about coronavirus for now uh bitcoin's at 20 so uh searches for this week so still pretty high um bitcoin dance is at 65.1 percent uh 24 volume is still okay at 161.5 four billion essentially so pretty good bitcoin's a little under sixty two hundred dollars i don't know why the percentage is so negative and red but whatever i mean i guess it's because it was down from this peak of sixty six hundred it was doing okay litecoin's at thirty eight forty five i assume i mean on monday we'll have to see but the markets continue tanking like this and we head towards a thirty three percent sixty six percent correction and the dow drops like nine k yeah i mean the problem is the the lockdowns are getting really nutty they're getting really insane so i i don't know like uh congress i mean congress is working as fast as they can but the problem is uh well they said they're gonna vote on it on monday so that could be the that could be the thing and then we'll find out what the details are and hopefully i know they're gonna like scam a lot of people like me and a lot of like you know expensive areas like california and us new yorkers but as well as a lot of, enough, enough people are getting something, right? You know, that'll at least keep us at survival mode. Because the biggest concern I'm currently having, of course, is RF dropping below $5. And then they're going to panic and start doing reverse stock split, thus killing the value of the stock. And of course, Rebel dropping close to zero, even though they changed the rule. And then Cred Susie just exercises their version of the mandatory... Um, uh mandatory thing uh redemption yeah mandatory redemption so that's the biggest risk but as long as they could kind of barely keep things at survival alone, not thrive we don't, we don't care about thriving we just want to survive if we could survive then we could worry about thriving later right you gotta learn to crawl before you walk then you gotta learn to walk before you can run right right now everyone still wants to kind of try to run when we can barely even move we can we can't even crawl right well, actually, we can crawl, but you know, you gotta go. You know, <laughs> you know, there's a there's an order to things in life. Dog coins at a little under two twenty million market caps. It looks like it's doing all right. It's basically kind of flatlining. Essentially, it goes up a little bit, then flatlines, like your typical thing. And then Steam is also continuing to flatline. Now it's becoming more reasonable. Eighteen point seventy five cents. Uh, Hive. Dot io is still whatever. I I checked my uh coins so i have them but i can't do anything with them so and you can't sell them so because obviously these are still getting everything up and running so i just want to see uh blah, blah, blah. i don't care today we made history uh that's right uh blah 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 um okay all right so i'm just waiting for dlease.io and block trace to start implementing so hopefully maybe later this week i mean with the coronavirus shit i mean that might be put i mean Everyone's just going to be doing telecommuting. Like, you don't even have to be in the office to do programming. So, uh, I don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes. I um, just want to see if there's any more interesting headlines. Because I'm not even going to really bother with these. Um, yeah. Uh, 
China stimulate prior investment. So China's doing the same thing, doing their stimulus. US seeks comments. A tariff cuts for Chinese imports. Admit, oh man, so uh, this is going to be so bad. Girl, provide impact how we consume fitness. Uh, ba -ba 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 All right, so at least of as of right now, Trump and Biden are neck and neck. It's 50 50. So, uh, so we're gonna have to find out what the stimulus plan does. And if the markets go skyrocketing up, uh, here's the thing it went down, you know, it went up a lot and it went down a lot. So, so this effect of the, the shit going down is actually starting to get less and less. Um, but I mean, again, the lockdowns and if the relief plan on Monday that they vote on is total dog shit. Yeah, all hell, all hell breaks loose. But, I mean, everyone kind of knows that, too. So uh, the politicians are going to try their best to mitigate the damage from that. Because uh, you have to think about it this way. With the exception of a couple of losers like Bill de Blasio, most people are being pretty bipartisan. There's really very little political bickering. So that's actually a really good sign. It's like, that means everyone's taking it seriously, and they should be because we're going to fucking die if we don't. Right, I mean, just look at New York City or California, man. Shit's going like crazy right now. JFC's at five to six. You know, good trade value, lots of big numbers, buying and selling. So you know, not too much there. Uh, four or four coins gone down to six to seven. It looks like it's tanking. Uh, wait, there seems to be a problem with those actually. Uh, gonna refresh that. No, that's right, six to seven. Oh, okay. So I guess someone must have dumped a lot at six. Now it's at seven to eight. Yeah, it's all over the place, but uh, it's a kind of big number. I guess I'll just sell at six, but I guess if you want to be patient, you could try seven. I mean, thank God it's the weekend, so people are going to reassess uh, and try to calm themselves. Uh, two by two coins, 58 to 59, so it's declining steadily. I think this is more fundamentals. The supply is just simply getting bigger. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was disconnected. So, uh, yeah, but it's, still, it's holding all right. So as long as crypto does okay, all right, uh, then we'll be fine. However, it's already tied to the stock market and equity market. So obviously, you know, if the Dow starts heading towards 10,000 Dow and whatever else, then, yeah, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> it's over. It's over. It's all ogre. Oh, yeah, I've been watching a lot of the Age of Empires 2 thing. So I actually bought for 20 bucks yesterday, and I went to bed at, like, 2 a.m. It was like, oh, wow, this game, I, I forgot. Like, it's so much nicer than the game. And uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a catapult they call Onigers. Oh, I just, I just made the product. Uh, Onigers, right? Onigers. Uh, that is totally not it, okay? This is the thing on the right, all right? It's a kind of special, uh, catapult thing, all right? 335, 353 AD by Amenius Marcellinus, all right? It's basically like a catapult or something like that, or the precursor to a catapult. And, uh, we call them Onigers, right? You know, O-W-N or P-W-N for those gamers, right? <laughs> so I just call them Onigers. Actually, I think I did say that, Onigers. Yeah, those things are actually pretty awesome. They, like, do, uh, they do a lot of damage. All right, anyway, um, Compound Coin 52, 51 to 62 or 6,300 Satoshis of a dog coin. So it's been pretty stable. Uh, so not, uh, not, nothing too crazy. All right, so we went over a rebel. We don't really need to go over this. Uh, everything here is just bullshit. Uh, oh, someone opened up the window there. Well, at least he didn't throw shit out the window this time. Um, <clears throat> ah. Okay, very good. And let's see, anything new on the direct payments plan? Because uh, the good news is Trump himself just wants to give everybody free money, and that's what Steve Mnuchin is saying. And he wants to give more than like he wants to give around like, at least two thousand um, dollars. Of course, the Democrat and Republican fucktard establishment says no. You know, they ain't getting shit. You know, so um, let's see. Rising cases. Da 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 da. Uh, Ted Deutsch, Rufti, curbside. Okay, so okay, so I guess we should have to wait till later tonight. Um, so, all right. Well, I guess that's that. Um, I guess we kind of need a thumbnail, right? Mm. 
high definition in Europe. Uh, oh yeah, this is a thing too. They were actually telling us video gamers to stop playing video games and stop hogging the internet. How about we just start shutting down, you know, the fucking porn sites? You know, how about we do that? Right. But of course, the people who are truly in charge of this uh, world and uh, are uh, operating out of a country that cannot be named or criticized at this time uh, don't want that. So, show you how after recent BTC pledge. Yeah, Bitcoin Maxwell shutting down. That's hilarious. See, that's why you never go all in. All right. This guy went all in on Bitcoin and, like a retard, he is now losing all his money and is shutting down his hedge fund. As our workers sent, sent home after coronavirus case confirmed at a warehouse in Queens, New York. Wow, they reported this yet. We've known about this for a few days already. Uh, it sucks too because the workers are scared legitimately, but Amazon is actually a very important resupply for all of us. So that's why Jeff Bezos is not closing anything down because he knows like he's trying to actually help us out, you know? Uh, so. Because if because if Amazon shuts down, you know that straight that puts so much more strain on the store, the pharmacies, the grocery stores, the supermarkets, and the targets where we need to resupply for shit. So uh, yeah, but it is kind of scary because like I get my Amazon package does it have coronavirus on it? You know that's a because it could survive up to twenty four hours on cardboard surfaces. Ugh. But I mean, Jeff Bezos says like uh, you know they're doing deep cleans every day. And they're disinfecting everything too. So and you can bet that he has high priority when it comes to hand sanitizers and shit. So I think we're okay. Uh, but wait, wait, did it? So what did it say? It, uh, okay, so they did not close because I thought they closed it because they said they wanted to close it, but they're just sending the workers home. Uh, oh wait, they did close it. Yeah, Amazon is scrubbing a delivery station in Queens. Oh, well, I guess we'll have to take a look. Uh, okay, uh, oh, okay, yeah, because there's conflicting reports about how they're dealing with it. Yeah, and the Queen's facility is temporarily closed for additional sanitation. Uh, and they didn't say how long it will last. Yeah, because they don't know, right? They, they just don't know. All right, so everyone was sent home, and they have full pay. Uh, well, they should, because, you know, Jeff Bezos is worth, like, you know, $11 trillion dollars. He's actually considered the richest man in the world right now, right? I've not seen a surge in order in the past two weeks. Uh, yeah, my video games, all that shit is crowded. There's literally so many people playing video games right now. It's like I actually, like, once normally, like, a little more quiet, everyone's just doing everything. So it's like, yeah, because what are you going to do when you're stuck at home? You're going to play video games. Which is why, see, I mean, it would be kind of nice if I ever had my game out, then I'd be farming all that, you know, Google AdSense and aid ads, you know, uh, you know, uh, income like like these guys survive. Io, right? I mean, I have ad blocker on, but look at how much uh, money this guy must be making right now. You know, let's actually take a look at the players. Uh, this actually is pretty low. This is actually a lot less than they normally have. Like North America is doing their normal stuff. Uh. Uh, let me see. Hey, I actually spawned with the pistol. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Alright. Uh, uh <laughs> you gotta get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Wreck. No. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm reloading. Yeah, I'm, try I'm trying to deliberately get myself killed. Alright, uh, I'm dead. Uh, hey, I got a kill at least. Uh, play a new game. Alright. I just want to make sure it saves. All right. Anyway, if you like what you saw, read, or heard, uh, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash GNC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right-hand side of this page. So that uh, we can continue growing these channels. Uh... Anyway, I'm honestly done for the day. This was a 40-minute video. I don't know what I'm going to really title this. I mean, it was just basically more coronavirus crap. Uh, but anyway, uh, hey, crypto's pretty much down just a little bit, or it's pretty stable. So I don't know. I'll, I'll figure out what it is. Oh, yeah, we kind of need a thumbnail, don't we? I guess we'll use this as a thumbnail. Sure. We'll use this as a thumbnail. Uh, anyway, 
Oh, let me tell you, sorry. So I'm literally just doing nothing, right? Markets wise, we're just not to wait on Monday and find out what happens with the uh, negotiations. So I think by the latest tonight, maybe we'll have more details. And then they probably still want to agree, but they said they may be making good progress. And then Sunday, they'll probably hammer out the final details. And then, I mean, hopefully maybe by tomorrow when I do my video, we'll have the details and then I'll give you my thoughts. Otherwise, I'm going to have to wait till Monday. So anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Tomorrow, that is. Uh, stay safe. Keep exercising at home. Actually, uh, Max Turner put out this pretty good workout at home exercise with no weights and stuff, right? And Max Turner retweeted it. And here's the here's the link. So you can just pause it. Or you could probably do a Google search to it too. Uh, Reddit Arnold at home workout. Yeah, stay at home, stay fit. And it leaks back to uh, this article. So, and it's got it's already got a lot. So yeah, he's like, you know, he's starting, he's doing his, uh, you know, his best, right? You know, uh, you know, don't worry about what's out of your control. That's true. Of course, people still don't listen and get annoyed. But control what you can change. All right, and then uh, yeah, and then just keep your health up. All right, because we will get through this. So, you know, it's just gonna it's just gonna take a while. So, because yeah, us Americans, we've been spoiled for a long time. Now you know what's really like to live. Anyway, see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And, uh, you know, we're just going to have to see what this relief plan does. Judson Chan, JMC Coit, 404 Coin, and here is our little thumbnail.